How's the Godzilla fans, kaiju fans, collectors, and just general people of YouTube? This is Chanzilla1964 coming back to you with another fig review. This time we will be reviewing the newly released Bandai Movie Monster series Manda 2004, otherwise known as Final Wars Manda figure. Um, starting off with detail for this guy. Gotta say, detail is probably the best part about this figure. Sad to say. Um, no, that's not saying I wholly liked the sculpt or the way that Bandai made this figure, but I must say the detail and the amount of work that was put into the detail on this guy is short to say amazing. Um, from the detail and the scales on his face to the patterns on the top of his nose, I mean, now not to mention the horns on his, the top of Manda's head over here. And the eye is very nicely done. The teeth are very well individually sculpted. And if you look on the inside of Manda's mouth here, you get a nice little forked tongue. Which is, I think that's a neat addition. And I hope they do that with more of the um, forked tongue kaiju from Godzilla. Um, then we go down Manda's back. And they have this really nice hexagonal scale pattern going on here. As well as the fins that are present on the side of this Manda. Anyways, it's strange how they kind of, well, it may, it's strange, but it makes sense about how they go here and they keep going because it's folded under the arm here and they kind of stop over here, which I, I, I kind of get it because I also kind of understand what Bandai was going for, where this is probably where the remainder of the tail is going to be, but it's blocked with these two legs over, which I'll get to that in a minute because that's one of my other gripes with this figure. But moving on to the belly before we keep going, um, the stomach of man is very nicely detailed with all of this ridge pattern, and then there's all these little lines and cracks on the stomach as well, which really kind of give more depth to the figure, I guess you can say. Um, and then while we're on the inside of Manda here, we have his arm horns. Even though for this one, it's less apparent that that's what they're supposed to be on these arms, the front arms, that they're supposed to be horns because they look like, well, the tail kind of. But on the back legs, you can definitely tell they're supposed to be spikes or horns because, um, well, they they look like horns over here, but over here, they look kind of like um, feathers. But they're supposed to be horns, so yeah. But it's nice. It's really cool how they um, sculpted the arm over here. I just wish the arm was uh, wish the arm was articulated, but I like how they included the forefinger and the fingers like this. Um, and then there's something cool. This man of this design. There's this sort of tendril. Yeah, let's call it a tendril that goes from man has two arms pretty much, and there's two of them, and they're both present on this figure. So. I think Bandai did a very good job with including those thingies because I know with a vinyl figure like this, it'd be kind of hard to do something like that. But I think Bandai did a pretty good job. Now, what I do have a really, 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 really big gripe with with Bandai is how they did Manda's back half. Because I love the front half of Manda. Like from here to here, looks amazing. And I could have been good with this. But for the back half over here, I get what they're going for, but it it, it looks like they 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 they, they, they kind of messed up the legs. But I, like I said, I get what they're going for because he's supposed to be swimming, pretty much. He's supposed to be swimming, but these these back legs over here. I mean, I, I, if you look at some of the um some of the suit shots or the yeah the, the model shots that they used in the movie, the legs are not facing this way. So it's just kind of weird, to me at least. And I ain't Bandai. I understand this is a long figure, but you, you could have made them made, made him a little skinnier maybe and then just made the tail a little longer. Like bring it up to this point before you start with the feathers because th this just looks like he has a fin. He looks like a giant fish or lizard fish thing compared to like a dragon, which is what man is supposed to be is a dragon. But he looks like a kind of like a giant fish thing. Even though I get that this is where the tail would be and then this is where the feather part would start for the tail. But if they just extended it a little more and then had it start, I would have been all good with that. But here it just looks like he has a fin. Like, 
He has like a fish tail, like a betta fish, but yeah. But that's pretty much my only gripe with this figure because it's a really good figure. Don't get me wrong. The promo shots for this guy were kind of off-putting, but I was still excited because it's a Final Wars Madden figure. But yeah, all of this aside, he's a really, really good figure. Great figure detail-wise. Paint-wise, um, the paint that's present for this guy is really, really good. I think Bandit did a very good job on it from the paint to the mouth, the very nicely painted teeth, very nicely painted eye. The only thing that would, would really be missing would be the little tint of yellow that's present for the iris, but that's no biggie because the orange and the black pupil does it perfectly. The horns are very nicely painted for the top of the head and the, the crown for Manda. Um, and for the back of the horns, they, they start here, they stop for some reason and they don't they don't pick up anywhere else so that's where bandai fall short in the paint department for this guy sadly um the nails are very nicely painted for this guy i'm not really going to ding manda for this part because i wasn't expecting them to paint these nails um but the underside of manda is very nicely painted all the way down from head to tail so that's that's great but i mean how much harder would I have at least been to have gone all the way up until like, 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 like here in usual bad night fashion, stopping before the back end of the monster. I mean, it's just, it's just interesting the way they decide to go about painting him. Even though I get it because the horns are here, they painted this with the horns. So it's like, yeah, but it's just, it, it it's a bit of an eyesore. But um, that's enough of me bitching and moaning about this. Because what we do have paint-wise is really, really good. So yeah. Moving on to, on to articulation. I was a bit... Not really disappointed because I was expecting that they wouldn't have arm articulation. But my hopes were kind of up to have the, these, these things move. Which they don't. But this moves, so that's, you know, it's great that we at least have some articulation, it's not just some statue. But I was hoping that this, we would have been able to move this part at least, but we can't this time around, it's glue sealed. So, yeah. For this Manda figure, one point of articulation compared to the um, singular point Manda where we had three. But, what you gonna do? Moving on to size comparison for this Manda figure, we're gonna bring out the whole Final Wars cast that we have so far so um yeah as you can see amanda kind of sizes up really nicely um with them all he's kind of on the bigger side but we never really see him next to all the other monsters in the movie so he could have been like you know this huge monster that could have really given Ghidorah a run for his money size wise because, I mean, looking at the figure, he's longer than the Kaiser Ghidorah figure that we got from the Bandai Movie... Than th that we got from the Bandai line. I was about to say Bandai Movie Monster Series line. Um, back when the Final Wars movie first came out. So, yeah, size-wise, Manda fits very nicely with the rest of your Final Wars figures that you may have in your collection. Or that you may eventually be getting in your, in your collection. Because, as far as I know, Bandai Movie Monster Series has come out with these three guys recently... That's right, you guys should be expecting reviews for this guy and this guy coming up sometime soon. And then Bandai Movie Monster Series re-released this, the 2004 Gaian, Anguirus, Mothra, and the Rodan in the back over there as well. So yeah, if you guys haven't picked up these guys yet, I suggest you do because considering the way that Bandai is going, seems like they're trying to get the whole um, Final Wars lined up going again, so... We'll see what comes in the future. If we get a re-release of this guy, which would be cool, or if, even if we get a 6-inch Monster X figure, which I am really, really hoping for, because we need one of those. Yeah, or even a 6-inch version of Zilla, or Scale, not version. But yeah, 6-inch Scale of Zilla over here would be really cool too. Uh, but yeah. All right, that'll just about do it for this review today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, do be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. If you guys like what you see on the channel, and you guys want to see more um, Band and Move Monster Series figure reviews, especially for Godzilla content, Gaimer content, um, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. 
And if you guys feel like, leave a comment if I may have missed something or if you guys want to even see this guy customized or a customization DIY, do be sure to leave a comment down below just to let me know because I do plan on customizing this guy, especially with the back spines over here. But yeah, um, be sure to stay tuned for the Bandai Movie Monsters Godzilla 2004 and Hedor 2004 figure reviews, which are going to be coming up after this guy. I have to see when I'm going to get to the Batman Movie Monster Series Mechagodzilla 2 figure without the Garuda because, I mean, it's the same figure as the figure of the Garuda, just without the backpack. So, I'll get to it eventually, but not anytime soon. With that being said, though, this has been Chanzilla1964 saying until next time, guys. Peace, peace.